My name is Beth Brown. I'm 87 years old, been married 70 years. My name is Bob Brown. I've, we've been married 70 years, and I'll be 90 in August 7th. Well, we've got three kids. Our oldest daughter died when uh, she was a young girl, and that, and that was a setback, but the Lord knows what he's doing. We uh, had, th had the three kids, and uh, we have six grandchildren, and now we have 10 great-grandchildren that put the grandchildren in second place. Those great-grandchildren are great. We met in high school. First time I remember seeing Bess is I walked into the gym and they was practicing basketball. And I seen this little skinny-legged girl there and I thought, well, she don't look too bad. And so uh, I kept talking around and I knew the, one of the boys that dated her sister and finally through him we got a date with her. We had the double date. And so uh, I guess we dated for two years, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Well, we slipped off and went to, I was 20 and Vest was, I was out of school. Vest was still in school. And we slipped off and went down to Greenback and uh, just a piece down there married us. Nobody didn't know it for, she got pregnant. We kept it a secret till, the, till then. I brought a little old trailer and put it in my daddy's back, daddy's mother's backyard. It was a little bitty thing, one room thing. When we first got married and we didn't, uh, I just, I don't know how to tell you. It was just a while, we got along okay. I don't know if we ever discussed divorce, have we? No. We never wanted divorce, I, ne I never did, I know. There's been times I'm sure Bess could have kicked me out if she wanted to. But at that time I was, working on the weekends, working the night. And Bess got to taking the kids down to Faith Baptist. And so I, I finally got on to, off on the weekends. And so I said, I, well, I better go with them. Somehow they got me in the bus ministry and <laughs> driving around that old Dodge bus that hated me. But I, I guess that's where we got started. Then when he moved to Victory, we, uh, Got in the bus ministry down there. We had a good, a pretty good bus down there, big bus. I, I remember the most load I ever had was 72 kids packed in that thing. And, and we got it in between the church there and the church in that building. I don't know how, but we did. Well, uh, at Victory, first thing, I got involved with the kids' ministry. I was in the nursery over 35 years and I worked with Awana like 13 years, helped with Bible school, and then got involved with the kids, and that's what, that was my calling. We, I don't know what we do without victory, because it's a, a main part of our life. It's, we've been there so long that uh, we feel guilty if we don't go. But a victory is a church where we want to be. We love victory. That's home to us. I would say the young couples of today needs to get in church. If you got kids, get them in church, keep them in church, and pray that they get saved. A lot of people think that the kids are not listening when you're talking or doing things. But I'll tell you a little story. Uh, not long ago, a little girl that I had had in the nursery, she wasn't two years old, and she saw me in the hallway there at church and she said, oh, look who's here. And that just thrilled me to death. She remembered me from the nursery and me reading to her. I would say about an uncouple about marriage, I put your mate first, but you put her first, your kids second, and then your church, the way we look at it. Well, I would say um, just follow his leadership According to the Bible, he's the head of the house, and that's what I'm supposed to do. She don't do that. Do <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure that's in there. Well, when we, as a family, think about mom and dad, you know, dad be 90, and mom will be 88, and they'll be married 70 years. There's two things that really stand out. 
One is the fact of their commitment. When we look at them and being married 70 years, I've, I can think of them, they've had some great blessed times, they've had some very difficult times of grieving and, and, and all in their lives. So with the ups and downs, the one thing that you could always see in their lives was their commitment. Their commitment to each other was first. And I thought that was, that's something that we will remember and see in their lives. And then the second thing is their commitment to the family and how important family is to them. The emphasis that's placed on us getting together, being together, and just being around one another, special events, special times. You know, we can go back and think of everything from Christmases to the kids' ball games. And you can look up and you can see mom and dad there. They participated in my kids and the grandkids, their grandkids, and now their great grandkids' lives. But I think those are two very, very important things is the fact that they always want us to be together, to build memories together, their commitment to each other and their commitment to the family. Two things that I think we as kids watching them and grandkids watching them that we'll always remember about them.